pretty intense film, and um, it goes through glorious patches where Frank and April are incredibly happy, and and you just love them, and it's sort of this golden movie, and then it slides away again, and they hit a difficult patch. When Frank and April fir first meet, when they're quite young, they meet in the city, and uh, Frank is, in April's eyes, he's he's quite bohemian. You know, he's. Um, he has many different part-time jobs. What he really wants to do is to travel and see the world and um, before he considers settling down. And April is studying to be an actress. Um, and she wants so much from life. And she has had this idea and this image in her mind that one day she's going to be part of a group of glorious golden people. All of these people are beautiful to her. John Givings is so intelligent that he he sees right through everything and he sees right through everyone and he has absolutely no problem talking about what he sees to that person right into their face. So he becomes very involved in um, he becomes very involved and very ver verbal about the state of Frank and April's marriage and about their plan to go to Paris. Um, he praises it. He thinks it's incredible that they've made this plan to go away um, because everybody else just sits in, he calls it the hopeless emptiness um, and accepts that that's the way that life is going to be. So he thinks it's remarkable that they've made this leap to go. April is so complex that there were, I would say pretty much every day I felt overwhelmed by her. You know, often you play a character and, and, and feel overwhelmed by them and feel that sense of that desperation, that need to really get it right, really make it as good as you possibly can. And I had to just throw so much of myself into it, um, which you always have to do anyway, but I, I felt I was having to throw things into it that I had never used before and had to kind of find along the way, you know, just throw everything at it.